opportunity to talk to Michael Naughton, the outfield coach for the Cougs. And, and Coach Naughton, you take a look at the outfielders this year. It's got to start with Benny Roberts, your leader in left field. Yeah, Benny is his last. will be his last season this year, and uh, he'll be our big, our big, our big bat in the middle of the lineup for sure. What has Benny done from day one? He's a guy who had an opportunity to go out from high school into the draft, came to college. How has he developed over his years in Pullman? Yeah, you know, early on we actually registered him, uh, and being from where he was, he was kind of inexperienced. The tools were there. The tools played out to be a pro player, which he will be. But it's taken him some time to develop, and I think you'll see Benny. Uh, have a really good year this year, and I think he'll be even better pro just because he's some guys mature earlier than others, and Benny's one of those guys that matures a little bit later. But I think he'll have a pretty uh, pretty good long career in the pro in the pro game. The other guy that you'll see out there, that I think the majority of the ball games this year is Cameron Frost, a guy that has some versatility, can play center, can play right. How much of the experience that he got, especially toward the end of last season, help him as a springboard into 2015? Definitely, I think that, that helped him. Just getting into the environment and playing games and just kind of getting used to, to being in that type of competition, because that's a big step from what he did in Olympia. But I think that step, now that he's had that experience, um, he took that into Alaska. He was a, a real productive player in Alaska. He hit over 400 with really good power numbers. So we hope that that translates into this season. I think this last season, with that experience and then what he did with the summer, uh, he's confident. And I think he'll be a big player for us. And I really, tools-wise, I think he's one of our stronger players just as far as tools and, and, and potential future for him playing pro ball also. rest of the outfields uh, made up of three freshmen and then a guy in Cooper Elliott who has had limited playing time. But Cooper's a guy that if you take a look at the body, he really looks the part. Yeah, he looks like a pro guy. He's, he's a, a huge guy. Uh, I know that Coach Marbot is a big believer in his abilities. And, and Cooper originally, he was a basketball guy. And, and he's come in here and, and really had to develop. And he was a little bit behind the guys as he's went, but nobody's worked harder to improve his game. Uh, physically, we hope that so, that body starts to translate into some thump in our lineup, because if we have that, some left-handed thump, you, you can't replace that. Cooper's a guy that when he's in the lineup will be in right field. Another guy that could get some playing time out there is Wes Hatton. What, what do you like about Wes? What Wes is, is going to give us some right-handed thump. We have a lot of left-handed power, and obviously Frosty gives us that right-handed thump. But but Hatton, when we recruit him for Fresno, he, he's a guy who's a long right-handed kid that, that I think will we'll get some opportunities early on. Uh, when, when Donnie has an opportunity to match him up with a left-hander, I think he'll be that guy that gets that chance. And, and we like his power, his gap-to-gap -gap power. I think that could really play for us against left-handers. We mentioned Frosty's uh, versatility playing center and right, so that opens the door on certain days out in center field for a couple of more freshmen in, in Chapman and Fredrickson. And what do you like about those two? Uh, both guys, very similar guys. Uh, and I think in the long run for us, they're going to be two guys that are going to be real nasty guys at the top of the lineup that are going to be on base guys. And as, as they mature and learn their strike zone and such, defensively, they're ready to play right now. Um, there's not much to do with them right now. They, they both run well, they throw well, they know the game, but now it's them learning how to, to, to face Pac-12 pitching, Division One pitching, and, and understanding how to be on base guys and such, but they're going to be a couple of real exciting guys going forward. They're, they're going to they're gonna give a lot of teams fits because they're going to be on base a lot. Now joined by Ben Roberts, uh, Cougar left fielder, and, and Ben, Talk a little bit about being the veteran guy on what is a pretty young outfield core this year. Yeah, um, it's a good opportunity. Um, I'm, I'm lucky that I've had some guys ahead of me in uh, my young years that were able to kind of lead me when I was in the younger guy's role. So it's kind of cool to be able to kind of switch roles and be kind of the older guy and, you know, teach some guys little things that they might not know and just kind of helping everybody out. So it's a really good opportunity. You were a guy that had an opportunity to go pro coming out of high school and, and Legion ball, and, and you, you passed on that opportunity to be a Coug and then had a redshirt season. How much did uh, the development that you thought you needed to do as a ball player play into that decision, and then how has that progressed as a Cougar? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a good opportunity, um, you know, to get drafted and stuff, and then uh, to be able to come here and then uh, redshirt. Um, I really learned a lot, um, not about just baseball, but just about, like, school and all that stuff. So um, that was a really big help. Um, I was just really able to focus on myself more than the team and having to worry about winning and get hits and all that stuff. So um, it was a really good opportunity and, you know, it, it really it really paid off, I think. Talk a little bit as we look ahead to a, a season that's only a couple of weeks away and what are some goals for you both on the field, off the field, and then a, as being a leader on this team in 2015? Um, off the field, you know, I'm just excited to graduate and, you know, finish up here um, at WSU. Um, you know, on the field, um, obviously, you know, we're chasing a Pac-12 championship and, you know, trying to make a run in the postseason, make a regional and stuff um, as a team. Um, individual, you know, I just want to, you know, play my hardest and, 
you know, I try to do that every every day, day in and day out. Um, and uh, probably just try to be like one of the best outfielders in the Pac-12 would be one of my personal goals. Last question I got for you is uh, when you leave Washington State, what do you want your, your teammates and, and fans and alumni to say about Ben Roberts? Uh, I just want them to remember me as a really hard worker that just played hard every day and, you know, regardless of the score and just really loved playing the game of baseball. Thanks for the time. Best of luck. Yep, thank you.